Hello there, and welcome to this series designed for people who are living with long-term illness and disability, including long COVID. I want to talk to you about your spiritual journey, and that may be something which is completely alien to you. But one of the things I've recognised in myself and with the many people I've worked with that often the illness or the disability was almost the universe's message to you that actually you need to think about what your purpose is and how you can live your true purpose. Often the pattern has been, and I was talking to a guy this morning who started off by being slightly unwell. His job didn't make him happy, but he ignored it and he ploughed on because he needed to pay the bills and he needed to pay the mortgage and so on. And he carried on and he carried on and he was stressed and he became more and more unwell until the point came when he actually collapsed and couldn't work anymore. In that time when he was dealing with total collapse and he quite literally could do nothing, every movement caused him pain. There was a realisation, not immediately, but a realisation that in order for him to live any quality of life and for him to live in a way that helped his family, he had to do things differently. Now, interestingly, he was at the beginning of his journey and he's a long way to go to find what his true purpose is. But part of that is recognizing that the journey so far, the challenges that he's met are in many ways, giving him an indication of how he might help others and through that find true purpose. I've met too many people now where a serious accident or a serious illness has given them an opportunity to really take stock of their lives. And in doing so, to recognize that in part, what was going on, that dis-ease was created because they were not living in tune, in alignment, authentically with who they were. If you are at the moment in the throes of dealing with long-term illness and disability, I would urge you to think about, is there a message here? Is there a gift in your disability, your illness? Is it telling you that you need to recognize that to be authentically you, it's time to do things differently. Now, I want to make a distinction. It's so much easier to see this with the power of hindsight than it is when you're in the throes of the challenge, that day-to-day -day challenge that long-term illness and disability give you, particularly in those early days. I mean, those of you that are suffering from long COVID, and I know from personal experience, because having had COVID last year and been in bed for seven weeks and hospitalized for a short time, and left with hot, long COVID, which I think had re-triggered chronic fatigue, which has been with me since 1984. It was an opportunity for me to revisit just how challenging it can be when things that you've taken for granted, albeit on a limited scale very often, that when those things are taken away from you, you have to deal with the emotional fallout that comes with that too. And it reminded me of all of the lessons that I had learned over the years from a personal perspective when for so long I've been engaged with it but through helping other people. Once you get through that and that doesn't mean you're necessarily 100% better but once you get through the emotional fallout and you start to recognize what's the message. The message for me on this occasion was what prompted me to really look at how I turn up as a human being because for most of my life, what I turned up as is a human doing. And in that beingness, recognizing that some changes needed to take place. Now, this may seem a little bit far out for some of you, but story after story after story where people have a cataclysmic event. And then when they look back, they have seen the gift in it. And if you ask them, would they have changed things? And they say, well, I might want have wanted to feel a lot less pain, but actually no, the gift has been so great that I wouldn't want to have missed out on that. Now, 
all of us would like the universe to tap us on the shoulder and say, well, I think you need to do something differently. And then we take notice and things change for the better. But it's the in the challenge and the dealing with the challenge. And remember, the challenge isn't what defines us, it's what we do with it, that we discover our true metal. And if we're open to it, we can tr discover our true purpose. I'd love to know your story. I'd love to know where you are on that continuum and how you're doing. Because in hearing your stories, that gives me an opportunity to help other people too. Because we like to think that our situation is unique. And of course it is. But there are commonalities in our situations that can help other people. So please do let me know. My email, Gina at genuinely-u.com, G-I-N-A at genuinely-u.com. So think about where you are in your spiritual journey and does your illness or your disability give you the opportunity to see your life differently and to live a life with purpose and a life of purpose. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.